What is going on guys, Reverend Saint here and I got another Black Ops 2 gameplay for you guys today. Uh, I do apologize, I did actually plan on having this video up technically today, which is Wednesday night. Uh, but actually technically Tuesday night, but uh, Xbox Live was being weird on Tuesday night, so I couldn't really get to a gameplay. I could, I could hardly play at all because of Xbox Live being so jacked up. And plus, I, like I said, I'm super busy every night this week. I hardly have time to play at all in between work and doing what I'm doing right now uh, at my church. So I just don't have time right now this week. This weekend, obviously, Saturday is going to be the Saturday stream. I will be doing that. Don't fret that is going to be happening because this thing actually ends friday night so do not worry guys it's still happening but i really wanted to get this out because i got to talk about the patch notes that came out with the new update obviously tuesday new camos came out there's some sweet ones in that i really like the the title camo uh, i think i pick up a gun I think I pick up an MSMC that has it in this game. Uh, but I'm not one to make a video just showing off the camos. I mean, I understand the point of doing it. Like, for people who haven't seen them on a gun, want to see what they look like on the gun before they buy them so they know what they're getting exactly. Who knows? Maybe they like just like seeing them in action or something. I don't know. Like, I understand that much of it. But I'm just not the guy to make a video like that. I just, I just don't make videos like that. I don't know. I don't know why, I just, I just don't, man. But I will, however, make a video talking about the patch notes and actual changes to gameplay that come with said updates. So we're going to get be getting into that. But I had to get this gameplay, and this was today, i.e., or I mean, not really, i.e., that's an example, but uh, today, as in Wednesday, right after work, right before I left for my thing, and uh, I was like, I gotta get a gameplay so I can do a commentary later tonight, and I got into this game, you saw, I left the quit message up there at the beginning of this video, so that you guys could see, I normally quit games that have already started, especially at a deficit like this one, I was like, dude, I'm getting out of here, I gotta get this new game, and I'm like, no, this is gonna be great, I'm gonna try and make a comeback here, and we're gonna win this, 20 to 8 was the deficit when I joined the game, and I bring us back, and we win 75 to 74 in this TDM on Detour, I drop a relentless i go like 20 some kills without dying in like the, the, like the pretty much the entire game until the very end and then i get melted by an lmg uh that i i don't know how it got me i honestly don't you guys will see it but uh really good run i end up doing going like 29 and 2 or something like that uh and we end up winning so it's crazy comeback hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and yeah let's get into the subject at hand uh, they did a lot of balancing. They also did some improvements or something like that to theater mode, but that's really unimportant in my opinion. Uh, but the game balancing, they they nerfed the AN-94. I did not expect that to happen. Uh, like I said in my previous video, with the way that they nerf guns and like actually you know monitor on what's overpowered or not is by numbers. They don't actually test like how powerful the gun is how easy is it to get a kill otherwise the swat would not have gotten a buff because it's too darn easy but not many people use that gun and it's not because it's a bad gun or it's not good enough or it's not overpowered or anything it's just because it's a boring gun in my opinion uh it's, just, it's slow fire rate it's just kind of like eh got a kind of a funky sound it doesn't sound cool it doesn't really look that cool so not not too many people use it but it really 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 is extremely overpowered as you guys saw i dropped an 89 and 4 gameplay with it and it was super easy i felt like a god with that gun i honestly did as long as i was ready for people you melt them with that gun so obviously that isn't the case of numbers because otherwise if everyone was using it it would have gotten nerfed but not everyone's using it because it got buffed and it didn't need it uh, whereas the A94, it didn't really need a nerf. I thought it was pretty darn balanced. It had a lot of kick to it. Uh, it had a slower fire rate to it. It wasn't that powerful. It was about three, four bullet kill usually. So that's not too bad. That's about the average. But the A94 is easily one of the most popular guns in this game. So it's obviously, obviously being used a ton. And they saw that and they're like, okay, we got to nerf it. Now, another thing that got nerfed. Which to me, it, they shouldn't have done it. It's it, they, There literally is no difference, guys. I played with the snipers. I've played against snipers. I noticed no difference. I get killed just as easily and I get kills just as easily. I, I've noticed zero difference at all in this, guys. So many people are up in arms just because they said they nerfed them. But they did not ruin them. People are violently threatening the developers about it. It's like, there's hardly a difference, guys. In, in my opinion, from what I've played so far since the patch, there's hardly a difference so 
I don't understand what everyone's big deal is with it. Uh, I understand that there's a huge community that loves sniping, but it's just rate of fires, guys. That's all it is. They, they reduced the rate of fire of the DSR-50, which I disagree with because the DSR-50 was already pretty darn slow. And then they slightly reduced the ballista. And to me, it's like the ballista, understand, I, it should be faster than the DSR because it's a smaller rifle. It's not nearly as powerful. You have to get a body shot to get a one shot most of the time. Uh, and it's just it's a lot more balanced than the DSR I think with one shots and stuff like that uh, But the only way they could technically really balance snipers is by adding more sway by making it more like black ops 1 And they just can't do that to me I think they just should have left the snipers alone let the sniping community have their fun and then it, you know fix it for the next game But that's pretty much it guys Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and I will see you guys later next gold gun is the SMR and I'm working on it right now Thanks for watching guys. Peace out